One of the main reasons for using an uncanny learning platform is, of course, e-learning. Uncanny LP uses LearnDash, a widely used WordPress plugin, to provide learning management system capabilities, and it's largely an out-of-the-box implementation. If you used LearnDash before, you'll find it really easy to use that part of Uncanny LP. Before you start adding your courses, it's really important that you understand how courses are organized in LearnDash. What you see on screen now is a course page. And if we scroll down, or if you look to the course navigation section over here, these are lessons. So if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that this course contains lessons. Then within that, lessons can contain topics. So normally course materials are organized into three levels of a hierarchy. The course level at the top, lessons beneath them, and then topics beneath lessons. So if you think about it, um, topics are always associated with a single lesson. Lessons are always associated with a single course. And this is how things are organized. You can't share content across different courses. When people are purchasing something or getting access to course materials, all of that happens at the course level. So when you're thinking about how to organize things, also consider that what you're giving people access to is a course. You can't give them access to lessons individually or to topics. What we normally do is we see organize, we see courses organized so that we set context and expectations and prerequisites and, and things like that at the course level. So usually it's, it's more overview information. You don't always have to use topics. You do always have to use lessons. A course must always contain lessons. Now, if you're only using lessons, so you're not using topics, then at the lesson level, you're usually breaking down the subject matter into unique subject areas in each of the lessons. Now, for a typical LearnDash course, we might see anywhere from about 5 to 20 lessons. That's pretty typical. And at the lesson page, you're actually presenting the subject matter to the user. <clears throat> If you have a lot of information that needs to be disseminated, then you can use topics to organize that further. So even if you have 5 to 20 lessons, beneath each of those lessons you might have 10 topics. If there's a lot of content and it's a really big course. And then what you'd use the, to the lessons for is they could be used to introduce the subject areas and then the topics can break them down further. So maybe within that, the, the lesson level, you're, you're introducing the, the subject matter at a high level. Um, there's some context setting, there's some learning objectives or outcomes set. And then within the topics, then you're, you're talking through each of the different uh, topic areas. So within that, there might be you know, some kind of lesson, some kind of context setting, uh, going through the, the individual topics that roll up to that, uh, that subject area. Maybe there's a quiz there, maybe there are offline, suggested offline activities, maybe there's an assignment and things like that, which can then be organized under the lesson level. So try to think of your courses in that three-level hierarchy. Now in some cases, you can use a category. So categories do exist in LearnDash 2, and I'm going to show you a quick example of those. So on this site, you can see that this first area here, part one, it has five courses within it. And what we've done here is we've organized those five courses into a category called Part 1, Tools and Theory. And then down here, this category has six courses. And for this kind of site, what we're doing is we're, we're selling or giving access to all of the courses within that category, but we're using the category to essentially provide a fourth level in the hierarchy for the organization. So then we can kind of group similar courses together without needing an extra level in the course hierarchy. So we can kind of manage things that way. Here's another quick example. You can see here there are a few examples of courses that are set up and again this is a category and this is a category and these are courses within them. So this is a site with 50 courses and 50 courses can be a lot to um, figure out how to organize. So because there are so many in there, we can use categories to distinguish them and group them logically without needing another level in LearnDash. So essentially, that's how you would look at the course organization.
And before you do start adding the materials, think about how you're going to structure it. Maybe spend some time in Excel, map things out at the three levels or potentially the fourth level with the, the uh, category and make sure things are organized before you start putting them into LearnDash because if you have to switch from lessons or topics or courses to lessons or something like that, it makes things very difficult. It's not easy to move things around like that. So try to have a sense of how you want to organize things before you get started.